We can tell from the prequels that the Jedi are less like traditional peacekeepers and more like the military, but what does that look like for the Jedi Order members? Youngling. Younglings are also known as Jedi Hopeful or Initiates, and are children who were raised in the Order as newborns and toddlers, before going through the trials to become a Padawan. They are separated into clan groups and trained together. Padawan. If the youngling succeeds, they become a Padawan. If they fail, they remain in the Order but do not become a Jedi. A Jedi used to select which Padawan to train back in the day. However, during the time of the Clone Wars, this was not allowed. Thus, the Jedi Council would pair up a Padawan with a Jedi. Jedi Knight. The majority of subdivisions, including Counselor, Guardian and Sentinel are located here. Each group has its unique speciality and methods of operation, despite the fact that they all have the same authority as a knight. Master The only two methods exist for obtaining this rating. Either develop a Padawan to the level of a knight, or accomplish enough exploits for the council to bestow the rank. Council Member We only see one of the four councils in the film. The four councils consist of the High Council, the Council of First Knowledge, the Council of Reconciliation and the Council of Reassignment. The Master of the Order, which is the second in command. Despite how it is phrased, the role is not all powerful or reserved for a single Jedi. Many Jedi used to hold this title, but by the time we get to the prequels, that practice has been abandoned. The title was formerly held by Mace Windu. Grand Master. This is often reserved for the most knowledgeable and talented Jedi. Despite the obvious hierarchy, many Jedi will assist one another regardless of rank. Yoda frequently instructed the younglings, or he could enlist the aid of several other Jedi to assist him. Any person beneath a council member may receive orders from a council member, but the High Council holds the greatest authority. Even while they are instructing a Padawan, a knight's primary responsibility is to maintain peace. This explains why there are several types of knights. Grandmasters are the greatest rank of Jedi because there is only one at a time and they are the most knowledgeable and competent. To be given this title, the Jedi is fought in humanity, and one of the primary responsibilities is imparting knowledge to the next generation. Yoda served as Grandmaster during the Clone Wars era and continued to hold that position until his isolation during Order 66. The Council of Reconciliation is composed of councillors, who are again divided into several groups according to their talents, the majority of them being seers, healers, ambassadors, diplomats and law keepers. Before the Clone Wars, Guardians served the Republic's first line of defence. They served in Starfighters as peacekeepers, temple security and one Jedi can become a battle master. They give the younglings their first lessons in combat and are often in charge of outfitting Jedi for the missions. Sentinels are somewhat distinct from other Jedi. Sentinels are trained in a variety of non-force skills, in contrast to the counsellors and guardians who concentrate on using the force, such as computer hacking and are frequently sent on assassination related missions. But without the unsung heroes of the Jedi Service Corps, all the Jedi would be nothing. Younglings and Padawans who are unable to advance to the rank of Knight or Padawan can join the Service Corps. Force users who were too elderly to be admitted into the Order are also welcomed into the Service Corps. Sadly, the Service Corps did not acquire lightsabers until the Clone Wars, at which point it was militarised. They have many groups as well including agricultural, medical, educational and exploration, just like the Knights. Numerous Jedi would offer their assistance to the Service Corps, even if they weren't part of the main order. Hello the Invaders, welcome to Star Wars Invader. Hope you enjoyed this video. There is a requested related what if video coming up next, so I thought little background information could help with some people understanding the many ranks. As an Amazon affiliate, I earn commission for purchases within the links. If you like this, I recommend The Jedi Path, which is currently going for £6.17 on Kindle and £11.19 for hardcover. Also, Amazon currently do a one-month free trial with Audible. 
All links are down below in the description if interested. Like and subscribe. Until the next time on Star Wars Invader.